Fashion Police Squad is a pixel Elganza living in its fast-paced first-person shooter moment, wasting no time before jumping into action. Developed by Finnish company Mopeful Games and published by No More Robots, Fashion Police Squad at face value looks like a pixel shooter, but has surprisingly deeper mechanics. With immediate weapon and enemy variety, you have to continuously swap weapons to defeat those who are dressed poorly. But does Fashion Police Squad slay the runway, or should you sashay this game away? Get ready to serve your best looks in this review. Now before starting the game, you're given four types of difficulties <laughs> ranging from I'm too young to die to make sure it's hot couture so you know what you're getting into. And what's nice about the game is when you enter the first level, Fashion Police Squad assumes that you know how to play first person shooters and any new mechanics are introduced via dialogue in a really clever way. After a few minutes into the game, you realize this is doom. Well, not exactly, but the graphics, the gameplay, the health and armor pickups, and the little face of your character reacting to getting hit in the corner, it's all very similar. But it's more than just that. You get new weapons early on, and you don't need to worry about ammo, which is really nice. And there are different mechanics like using a paintball gun against people in boring gray suits, sucking up the offensive neon green from offenders' outfits, and using a tailoring gun on ill-fitting suits, it's really clever and creates a fun gameplay loop. There is also a super move using a glove at the end of levels where you can basically transport and slap the fashion into these poor dressers. It's very anime. The story starts off how most good stories start. Help those without a sense of fashion. When you defeat an enemy, quote unquote, you get a fun word describing their new outfit and they get a new fit as well. But you find that some sections of the word are losing its color which is due to a big corporation coming in called Hugo Baus. You also meet a shady character called Deep Coat, who takes an interest in your glove particularly. But he also gives you information that you need to continue. And Deep Coat assures us that he has only good intentions, so I don't anticipate him turning on us later on. He wouldn't do that. The game is silly and fun, and honestly, that's what matters. I didn't find the beginning levels too challenging, but I also didn't play on the hardest difficulties. I find a lot of charm in the gameplay mechanic, especially being able to use your belt, not only to smack enemies and stun them, but to also swing like Spider-Man through the air. And that was really fun. I would definitely recommend this to those looking for something light and silly. Playing on normal was super enjoyable, and I liked seeing all the enemies and exploring the beginning world. The immediate weapon variety was also very welcome, and it just makes the game way more interesting, especially in the beginning, when you expect games to be slow and teach you how to play. This doesn't do that. It just treats you like you know how to play games, and then it just throws a bunch of different things at you that you're gonna love. There's also a lot of secrets to find. The ones I found were like posters of the main characters in like a basketball uniform or like a police uniform and every time he would make some snarky comment of why that's just not really his style. There are also other pickups that will show you how much of a level you completed so it's gonna be great for completionists and you find that at the end of levels with a runway of all the enemies you defeated. It's great. And I actually first heard of this game from Awesome Games Done Quick so there's already a speedrunning community for this game as well. From a parent perspective, if you have older kids, they could enjoy this game. While it is considered technically a shooter, you're not really using real weapons. And I don't mean that it's like a fake weapon, it's they emphasize that it's a paintball gun. Or they emphasize that it's a tailoring gun. Nothing is set to hurt someone. And when you defeat an enemy, they don't die or fall over. They cheer and they dance and they're excited until you're out of view. So even though there's like implied comic violence, there isn't actual violence. And if they're used to first person games, even like Minecraft, they may be able to play the game. And personally, I didn't see any concerns from a parent perspective of it being a violent game. Fashion Police Squad knows what it does well while taking a very classic idea of Doom and making it bright and fun. Although sometimes great, but that's by design. You'll see. The characters are fun, the weapons are silly, and the pixel art makes the game even more interesting. There are small pop culture puns everywhere as well, so try to find them all. Fashion Police Squad is available today on February 1st, 2023 on PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, PC, and Switch. And who knows, maybe you could be the one to fix the world's style.